Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's your boy Action Jack, and I'm coming to you with another video. Um, this won't be a live video. This is kind of like a test run for my podcast. Um, but the first subject of today has to be about Damon X Machina, the release of Damon X Machina, the things surrounding around Damon X Machina, and the controversy that is surrounding around what is Damon X Machina. For those of you that don't know, Damon X Machina is going to be an exclusive game releasing on the Nintendo Switch come September 13th of this year. Uh, it is kind of like your mech based game uh, centered around the game style of Monster Hunter, the old school Monster Hunter. It's made by the company known as Marvelous. And um, I've seen a couple of other games made by Marvelous, but this is kind of the main one that has stood out to me uh, out of all the games that they've created. Um, to get into Damon X Machina just a little bit, if you have not experienced and or have not heard of Damon X Machina, you'll be uh, surprised to know that you could go to the eShop right now and download a demo. The demo right now that has released, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this past week is the beginning of the actual game. So if you do invest time and actually fall in love with the demo, yours your your time is not wasted you can actually transfer that save file into your actual game if you do purchase it and continue off where you left off within the demo now that we've gotten that out of the way um it's 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 one of those games that um it's, it's got a slight niche to it and you're going to have to invest the time into it to actually if not enjoy it but to master it um kind of get an idea of i don't know games more akin to bayonetta uh to where bayonetta you can just press x and y over and over again but if you really take the time and enjoy it you can get into combos and really uh, make it look beautiful look gorgeous and just have a blast and pull off some pretty nice combos as well as certain games like Platinum that give you a ranking system so that way you can you know show off your skills a little bit if you invest the time it, it is well worth it um, but to really get into it uh, the first thing I would like to say is this will be a, a pickup for me uh, this would be a day one purchase and from what I've seen if you do purchase the game from GameStop there is a like a bonus incentive for pre-ordering the game so if you go and you pre-order from GameStop, I believe there will be two costumes as long as well as some weapons or anything else along with it. I can see if I could try to pull it up here um, on their website to see if there's anything. OK, found it. So um, the details on the Damon X Mach on the Nintendo website uh, reads as such pre-order either the physical version of the Damon X Machina game by 9 12 2019 or purchase the digital version by 10 11 2019 so that's September and October, October respectively and gain access to the prototype arsenal and prototype plug suit along with the metallic plug suit and weapon set prototype arsenal and prototype plug suit will be available as paid DLC in the future Download code included on receipt for physical version and redeem code in game once launched. Download code available at select retailers. So looking at this, they they kind of give you an idea of um, you can pre-order this or download it digitally and still get the same incentive. So you don't necessarily have to go physical if you don't want to go physical. Um, and they say from participating retailers, the only retailer I've seen has been GameStop. Um, I'd be, I'll be kind of interested to see if you can do so from the eShop to where you can just buy the game digitally without having to go get uh, do the digital purchase at GameStop to get this pre-order bonus. But I'm, I'm kind of interested and I'll dig a little deeper into it. But it's kind of hard to give you guys an example of everything that they just identified due to the fact that there has been um, content regarding Damon X Machina being pulled down by Marvelous Japan and Marvelous uh, America or Marvelous USA um, have specified this. You know, they've been very detailed that, hey, look, Marvelous Japan's just, they're just not with it. They'll pull whatever it is that you put up. So for this particular video, you'll probably just have a static image that pops up there or multiple static images. And we'll kind of see if, it, if the video gets pulled or if it gets claimed or what have you. So if it doesn't get claimed just off, just off of static images, then OK, we'll, we'll we'll proceed forward with some other information. I really want to push um, 
the 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 view on this game and get the attention out there and you know get a lot of eyes on it much in the same vein that we've done with astral chain because i really feel like this is a hidden gem that while there may be say like a select few of people that really will get into it i still think it's something that everyone should try that cares to put any type of effort within their games of learning the craft of that game if you're just trying to take the game as is at face value really just kind of go through the story mode not necessarily try to you know dig too deep into the lore of the gameplay or the story then honestly i wouldn't say this is for you from what i've seen um, i'm not a big story person myself but i love the um the the customization of your of your arsenal i love the customization of your character as well as some of the pieces that you can take from other arsenals um the way that you can improve or decline the speed and the the armor and the different weapons is just you can tell there was a lot of love that went into this and not to mention the that i just saw um some footage today on twitter that shows that you can go in and out of other people's arsenals which is dope when you start thinking into it from for those of us that you know remember zoids um does that kind of take other people's arsenals on a test drive so if you're iffy about some customizations and certain setups and you have a friend that has that type of setup hey go for it now the one thing i would enjoy is if they kind of took the astral chain route with the legions and have different types of arsenals so opposed to just everything looking from a gundam perspective more akin to zoids to where you have animals um as well as you know robots that kind of i don't know um would be the representation of human per se uh to where you'll have like the the little cat that could be the panther or whatever and have like a gorilla type or you know have like an elephant type or you know just different types of arsenals but i think you know that's a little you know digging a little bit too far into it and i don't see too many games getting too much into it but um the game of course is gonna retail for 59.99 at your participating you know retailers and the digital also will be the same and if i'm not mistaken within the eShop, you can go ahead and you know preload the game so as soon as it releases you can go ahead and start the game up and like i said i'll repeat it it releases on september 13th um but another thing that i want to tie in with this conversation or this video in regards to this game comes around the controversy that is circling around it which i've mentioned earlier with marvelous japan to where you can't necessarily advertise the game per se um otherwise your videos will get claimed so that includes any type of video footage or from what i've seen for some of the claims that have been posted on twitter it also includes um music tracks as well so if for any music that they've used in treehouse live or any music that you may have pulled from the demo or footage or whatsoever they're going to claim your video so for most content creators that you know do this for a living I see the frustration I'm not one that does it for a living I do this for fun so if I do get a lot of subscribers then that's cool they're just gonna be here for me to hear for, for me to talk I'm not here to do giveaways I'm not here to you know talk about everything that releases I only talk about the things that are important to me and the things that interest me so I'm not in that category of the full-time YouTube creator uh, extraordinaire for anything in regards to gaming um and one one reason why is because i enjoy and i love video games i'm not here to make money off of it per se not saying that those that make money off of it don't love it it's just i look more i look more at the love of the game opposed to trying to find a way to make a profit off of it so it's not my product it's not something that i create so therefore i could care less if i make money off of it but if you do then you do that's on you so to circle back around to the controversy and things being claimed and why we don't see a lot of coverage in regards to this game i feel like the way that i'm doing it now is kind of how other youtube creators could do it opposed to just saying hey you know what i'm just not going to advertise your game because you claim my video and i feel there's always other ways to do things instead of just hey look they cut off this one line of this one line of doing things and so now i'm just going to shut down 
so we'll see if this way works if this way works and i'll spread the word and then see if people continue to advertise the game when we come down to these last what uh three three or four days before the game actually releases and then even then it doesn't have to stop there you can always continue to advertise the game after it releases um i know we're in this time to where we have this mentality that you do everything before and on the day of and then after that people just tend to disappear um and that goes for almost every game it, they, they'll hype up a game and then once when they get their meta metacritic review and they do their video on the game they leave it alone they don't necessarily revisit or continue uh praising the game if they truly love it so to dig a little bit deeper into it um there have been a couple of creators that just choose not to you know review well not review but speak about the game because of the, the claim content and my thought process process on that is is marvelous's product um i think nintendo has ties in it as well it's their product as well so if a company says to you hey look we don't want you putting anything up about this game on your channel or anything else unless we've given you i'm assuming an nda or an embargo or anything like that to show this game truth be told you can't honestly get upset about it now i'm not one to say well you have the right to do no there there's a right and then there's a responsibility for a lot of things so if marvelous says you can't do it then move on or either find another way to do it based off of what they're saying you can't do if you truly want to support the product and this goes for anything outside of just damon x machina so if they if they say don't do it one way try to find another way opposed to just bitching and complaining about it and then saying well you're losing this and reaching out to their twitter account and all this other stuff and crying and whining over it so if i come with a product and you saying hey look i want to give you free marketing by exposing it on my channel and then i you know claim that video then leave it alone in a sense of how you're doing it if you truly are here just for the revenue portion of it if you're here for the love of it then like i said retweet tweet about it um put it up on face facebook put it up on instagram put it you know in any type of different form or you know like and share the videos that they do put up um but to tie into just the i guess you could say the revenue portion of it a lot of youtube creators because this is their livelihood to where they make money they get a little testy about it and then stop thinking logically in the sense of hey look yeah i like to say they took down my video and this is going to ruin them or this hurts them because this is free marketing but in all honesty your biggest issue is going to be that they claimed your video which you cannot monetize off of it if you had no intention on monetizing or monetizing the video there's a lot of people that really wouldn't have a fit over the fact that marvelous claimed the video i've had multiple videos claimed when i was doing less plays um specifically by bandai namco about dragon ball i didn't understand in the slightest of why i got claimed because it was only probably like six seconds of the video that got claimed and the same thing would happen in another video and they wouldn't claim it so after a while either i'll chop that piece out or either i just stop doing less plays on the game now i did reach out to ben on namco to see if they can explain more in detail why but i didn't go as far as to say oh i'm not advertised i'm not you know supporting the game anymore or i'm not doing this anymore it, that's not the case it's just when the less play videos no one was watching it and then on top of that it does take a lot of time with the dragon ball heroes because you never really know what they're going to claim so i then just took it to the fact of hey look bandai did another update this new character is coming um you know whatever i could possibly do because more or less i i love dragon ball so that's one of my favorite animes so that go i, I say that to say pretty much if you truly want to advertise said game and you truly feel like this is a game that people need to play then you will find other ways to advertise without worrying about the monetization portion of it don't get upset with the company because they won't let you make money off of their product that's at that point it is is it's kind of dumb like just do it other ways if you truly want to see it succeed but nonetheless um i don't want to keep harping too heavy on it 
but it was just something that I feel like I need to give my take at the same time telling everybody go and support Damon X Machina when it comes out September 13th make sure you download it digitally or buy it physically make sure you do it within those times that I mentioned earlier and if you missed those times the times for the physical was make sure that you pre-order it by if I'm not mistaken September 12th and if you are doing it digitally make sure that you do it by October 13th or October 11th excuse me so if you would like those DLC pieces for free then you pre-order if you don't care for them right now you just want to see them via someone else's youtube or however you see the content then you'll have to pay for it later on but be aware of those cut off dates so that has been my time make sure you purchase damon x machina and then also by the way before i go i'm sorry um hori hori is releasing uh what they call a split pad pro that seems to be geared directly towards Damon X Machina. Um, I'm pretty sure because it's Hori, you'll probably see a lot more. Um, I guess you could say uh, cover pieces for these controllers. So other games in the future that have customization pieces that uh, that are custom made for that particular game. So for the Damon X Machina one, I would say more or less it's the color as well as the uh, X that resembles the X on the cover of the game is the X button on the controller itself. Uh, these controllers do not work wire wirelessly they only work in handheld they don't have motion control they don't have rumble they're literally just a control piece um you have your uh you know common buttons along with the triggers on the back so they have like i think it's called like f3 and r3 that's on the back um you have the you know assign and turbo buttons so they're really cool if you're specific to handheld and handheld only or you kind of have like a 70 30 split then these may be a nice pickup there you know you have the perfect lining up of the buttons and the sticks just like a regular controller you have your you know your triggers um, like I say you have the extra F3 and R3 button on the back the sticks click in um, you're just missing out on everything else with the NFC the rumble uh, gyro what what have you you're missing out on everything else that say your pro controller and or your joy con would actually do um, which will retail for 50 bucks um, I haven't really seen any retailer really put it up outside of GameStop, but even then they canceled pre-orders and now they're saying they're not available. Um, but I have seen them for sure, for sure on Amazon, which most people get their product from there anyway. So if you're interested in something like that, uh, please check out a video that Game Explain uh, posted. I want to say yesterday, if the day before yesterday. Uh, about the controller um, they actually show it off they unbox it and ironically enough I was just talking about this a couple of days ago to where I had only seen one video and it was people more or less looking at it at a at, I guess it was more of a conference or an event to where that was akin to E3 or like a Tokyo game show or something like that um, to where they actually got a chance to look at it and possibly put hands on it but it was a prototype at that time so game explain has the final product they've did a good job explaining did a good job with the video if you want to see the video i'll put it down in the description um but yes most definitely and just to recap everything uh damon x machina september 13th if you want to get the the dlc stuff within the pre-order um september 12th for those that want to get a physical october 11th for those that want to get a digital um if you don't get it in those times you then will have to pay for it later on um the hori pad split the hori pad split pro um if I'm not mistaken, we'll be releasing the same day and date as the game. Um, I didn't necessarily see a date on that. Um, and then also support, 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 retweet, tweet, whatever. You see videos of people in Japan really showing out, showing us that this game is not slow, that Marvelous did make those changes that they said um, the community wanted. So if you think this game runs slow at all, trust you're just playing it wrong. <laughs> so. All right, we're going to go ahead and end it out like that. But this has been your boy, Action Jack. And like I said, we're going to have more products like this. I'm going to start going into podcasts just so I can talk a little bit more and continue to speak more freely on multiple products and multiple uh, subjects at the same time. So thank you for tuning in. Um, if you liked it, please just speak down in the comments. I can care less if you do the like and subscribe thing. I just like to talk my talk. So once again, this has been your boy, Action Jack. Peace.